Okay, we're going to start with the uh, first session of the lab. This is where we're going to ingest data using Scoop in uh, Oracle Data Integrator and change data using Oracle Golden Gate tools for big data. So this both are which you could use, uh, Scoop and Golden Gate. Uh, Golden Gate is part of Oracle. Scoop is part of the Hadoop family. So the data is going to be loaded from a source database to Hive tables. The Hive tables are going to be here on HDFS, both in bulk using Scoop. So we'll use Scoop to do that uh, through an Oracle data integrator. We are, we are going to look up that in the virtual machine, as well as, as well as any change data capture using Oracle Golden Gate. So we are going to capture any changes in the data using Golden Gate and will be loaded in the tables. So this tables, which are Hive tables on HDFS, Hadoop Data File System, which are going to be used by MapReduce to process all that data. So we're going to do two, perform two steps. We're going to replicate data from Oracle to Kafka, and we are going to merge update using Hive in Oracle Data Integrator. So let's start with the lab and uh, regarding tools, as I'm talking about Kafka, uh, Hive, Scoop, now those are all tools which you could use to load data. So we'll look at the description of that, those also down the line, but uh, let's start with this process. So we're gonna start with the first leg of our lab. As we discussed, we are gonna do ingesting data using Scoop in Oracle Data Integrator, change data, using Oracle Golden Gate for big data. We did talk about the architecture. Let's start with ingesting the data using Scoop and ODI. The first thing we need to do is the virtual box which was deployed. You make sure you it's, it's started. You can click on the start button. So it takes a few minutes in the meantime while this is being started. But let me talk about the, so this is a lab created by Oracle Corp. It's a great lab. So what we are going to do is, the first part is we, in this section, you will learn how to ingest data from external sources. Just imagine you already have the data. You want to move that data from an Oracle database to a HDFS, Hadoop uh, data file system. So you can do that using Scoop. Uh, it would be kind of a, a bulk load. At the same time, you can have a process called Golden Gate from Oracle which will definitely do the, the scoop will do the bulk update. But if any of those changes, any of the data which has already been uh, migrated or uploaded, you and that has changed, Oracle Golden Gate will make sure those changes are added to the HDFS. So that's what we are going to do in this lab. And there are a couple of things which we came across in the last class. So let's look at that we heard about hive so basically apache hive is a data warehouse software which facilitates reading writing and managing large data sets residing in distributed storage using sql now structure can be projected onto data already in storage a command line tool and jdbc driver are provided with this the next tool we came across was kafka so think about kafka is you want to take a stream of data which is already being produced and you want to stream that somewhere else so you read a stream and write a stream maybe you are a finance company you want to take the streams of the stock market and put it on your website so you would some use kafka to do that for you golden gate so Golden Gate is a Oracle package, software package. Uh, it's a tool which helps move data from one database to another. The good part about Golden Gate is that it can capture changes and not only move it to the same type of a database, it can move it to different databases. You can have Oracle, you can have IBM, DB2, SQL Server, so that is what Oracle Golden Gate is. As we progress through the chapters, we are going to talk a lot more in detail. So going back to our, our lab, first thing is ingest bulk data using Scoop in Oracle Data Integrator. 
So we're going to launch the ODI from the desktop. So let's hope our virtual box is up. The password is welcome one, as we talked about. So while that is loading, let's go back to, there's one step we need to prepare. So we are, in the virtual box and the services we need start as Oracle, Zookeeper, HDFS, Hive, and Yarn. Oracle, Zookeeper, HDFS, Hive. I've also added Kafka and Yarn. So please do that because otherwise you would see an error. So make sure those are selected and click OK. So the services are started. Now let's go back to the steps for our first lab. We're going to open and review the scoop mapping. So we are going to do the launch ODI from this desktop toolbar. So again, we get back to our virtual box. This is where you're going to click for the ODI. Would you like to import preferences? We are going to say no. Because we are using this as a first attempt. So we've got nothing saved in here. We are going to click connect to the repository and we are going to it's already the user ID and password is already selected. We just say, okay. So once that is done, uh, we, we select, we will go down to the designer project and we, we are going to look at load movie mappings. We're going to look at load movie scoop. So the scoop mapping is displayed in the mapping editor. You can see the source database movie. So you can see the details. The movie is the source database, which is in Oracle, from Oracle, which is being mapped to a target data store, which is movie updates. So again, tables in Hive are known as data store. So this is a logical view of the mapping where transformation rules are defined independent of physical implementation. So the beautiful part about this integrator is you don't have to worry what kind of database you are using. You just define the rules and then it works with any of the databases. So also they are saying, please note the movie updates has additional fields, OP for operations and timestamp, TS for timestamp right here. Those are a two differences you would see between the source and the target. These columns are used to prepare the data for later reconciliation with updates that will be appended by Oracle Golden Gate. The field op is initialized with the string I while the timestamp calls the system date. So here we are. I'm double clicking. And it's saying, do you want to lock the object to prevent other users? Honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go with the default because I'm the only one using this. This is in a shared environment. If you have other users, you might want to lock uh, this table so no one else can add it while you are working on it. So here's where we are. We see the movie update with the, the two app and timestamp. It's a logical view. And then they are saying, go to the physical view. So the physical design shows the source and target, the execution unit, such as databases or Hadoop cluster. It's now visible that the two tables are different system. So what they are saying is now, once you go to physical, then you know actually the physical structure. One of them is Oracle, one of them is Hadoop. And there is a access point, movie AP, which actually says what to do when you connect, when you are loading data from the source to the target. So that's what we, we are seeing here, AP, and this is a physical mapping. So it actually tells us the, the physical database. Now you can go to the properties of the window, which is typically under the mapping editor, and you can look at the load knowledge module section, expand it. So it does tell you it's a SQL to Hive, which is Scoop, which performs a load into Hadoop using Scoop. Under the knowledge module, there is a list of options to configure. So generally, we are going to keep it 
simple, but in real life, you would use this to tune your load. So it happens faster. So this is the properties we are, they are talking about. And this is what you would tune for it to work. I mean, it would work, but you want to make it efficient. And this is where you would change things. But we are going to keep it default for now. Once we go through all the details, logical, physical, and the properties, we can run this mapping. So this is already pre-created. We are just going to run it. We want to see the result and see the transformation. That's what we are doing here. We are not actually building everything from start. The whole idea is to understand how this whole thing works. So what we are going to do is we are going to go back to our, our virtual machine. And there is this arrow here, which we are going to say run. And it is going to give us log level and all the details. Again, you can change this. We are not. We are going to go with the default. And this runs for a while. This will take several minutes in the environment. Now what we could do, once it's done, we will look at the execution part and we'll go to the operator navigator here and expand all the executions and see how the execution went. We are supposed to see the executions and all these sections are saying that it was successful and there are some warnings and it okay it's okay to see those warnings but there are no failures so hopefully we'll see a similar result here session is started so we'll go to operator all executions it's still running if it was checked that means it's completed so step 10 is completed step 100 is completed 110 is not completed so we want to make sure the all of them are completed and it is december 11th while i'm doing this video as you see maybe you won't be able to see but it's december 11th 2018 so we have to wait for it to complete so while it's doing that let me take you to the next step we are going to go to the designer we're going to look at models movie updates hire movie movie and select view data. And then you should see all the data which has been loaded when we ran this. So all the data is now loaded into HDFS. Movie updates is the HDFS data store. Okay, so finally it has completed. So we can look at the load here. And all the steps looks like they've been completed. So let's go and look at the data. Hire movie is that what they said? Movie updates, I believe, is that what we need to look at? Hire movie, movie updates. And we're going to do view data. So here's it is. All the data has been loaded. So we've got around 5,076 records loaded. So I'm going to stop here. We're going to start with the part two. And uh, I'll be right back.